Hello everybody, we are here at the one and only Disney's Old Key West Resort. It is the original DVC resort here at Walt Disney World. We're going through everything here. It's going to be a, we're exploring the entire resort. It is a large resort, not the largest resort. That belongs to Disney Saratoga Springs. But we are going to do brunch here. If you know, you know. That'll be coming up a little later today at a place right behind us here. We'll be showing you everything here, the, the amenities, the transportation options. One is right behind me here, boat, which will take you to Disney Springs, which again, stay tuned because we will be doing this, going to Disney Springs at the end of this video. Welcome to Disney's Old Key West Resort where you can experience the romance of the Florida Keys at this community of Conch Flats, a sprawling island with shimmering waterways, swaying palm trees, manicured on a golf course. So what makes this resort unique is you get a home base with extra space. You can stay in a Disney deluxe villa with just like home amenities, including a kitchenette, washer dryer, and separate bedrooms. Rooms here at Disney's Old Key West vary from deluxe studio, which can sleep up to four adults, all the way to a three bedroom grand villa, which can sleep up to 12 adults. In my personal opinion here, the deluxe studios are a little bit outdated. Olivia's Cafe is one of the most popular spots for breakfast and brunch here at Walt Disney World. And by the way, Olivia's is a uh, home style American cuisine with a Caribbean twist. So far, Carrie, first impressions? Cute. It is very cute. The, the drive on in was nice. Everything is nice and maintained. It has that old town, I mean, it is called Old Key West, but it's like an old beachy vibe. And I'm here for it. And I see a hidden Mickey, which is what they're famous for here, is their, um, their slide. We'll get into it. That is an amenity. It is a deluxe resort. So let's go, everybody. All right, Olivia, it's almost time for lunch, brunch, breakfast, whatever you want. Hi, Amelia. All right, Olivia, let's go take a picture in front of the sign. I think you're gonna like it. I think you're gonna like what the name of the restaurant is. Come on. All right, Olivia, this is where we're gonna go for lunch. Olivia? We're going to Olivia's. Oh, my name. That's your name. Let's go get a picture. That's a perfect picture spot. All right, so right now we're just kind of waiting around for Olivia's. At the main stretch here, again, we'll get into all this, the DVC ferry, which we were just at for our intro. You do the, the boat pickups for Disney Springs. You can play checkers. Girls are getting a good photo op. <laughs> Right, one thing I like about the My Disney Experience app is that 20 minutes before your reservation, you can check in. Uh, it makes it pretty seamless to do if you're not familiar with it. And just like that, we're all checked in. And then I think you saw at the end of checking in, you put your phone number in, they send you a text message saying that they got it, and then they'll text you when your table's ready. So it should be ready pretty soon. I don't think we'll be waiting a full 20 minutes. And I just want to say as well as we'll be highlighting Olivia's, it's not going to be a full on like experience of Olivia's. We'll show you a few things here or there, but this is mostly a resort tour type video. So the most of the focus will be spent on everything else. All right, Olivia, let's go to Olivia's. Our table is ready. We're all checked in. Uh, yeah. Park this out here. Bring the blanket for Amelia. We are ready to go. Love this so far. Great look. Perfect. Girls are very excited. They have Disney princesses on their activities slash menu. <laughs> Amelia. Smiley. Cheese. Cheese. All right, let's take a look at the menu real quick. Quick glance, Olivia's again. One of the better spots that I've heard of for, it's their first time here, but. Ooh, shrimp cocktail for an appetizer, that sounds good. Entrees. Banana bread French toast, sounds delicious. Olivia's breakfast. Two eggs any style. Go ahead and pause this real quick. Quick scan. And then taking a look at the backside. Cocktails, wine, all the fun drinks. They, they don't do this anymore, but at one point in time, you could have put your family photos on the wall. The place is covered with them. That's kind of cool. Comment down below if you guys have your photo on the wall. All right, midway through, these are the Olivia's breakfast potatoes. That's like a gravy on diced potatoes. Different, but good in my opinion. And then this is very, I know a lot of people don't like the word moist. Delicious, banana, bread, French toast. 
It even comes with bananas and the syrup. Yeah, you really get the flavor with this. This is good. All right, Carrie, thoughts on breakfast? It was okay. <laughs> it was okay. I'm still, I compare everything to Steakhouse 71, and that breakfast is my favorite. Yeah, Steakhouse 71 is great. Yeah, at all Walt Disney World property, that's my favorite breakfast place. Um, but it was okay. It was good for hotel breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't expecting the uh, breakfast potatoes to have the gravy on it and all that stuff. Uh, I like gravy, I like sauce and things like that. Carrie does not, so that kind of threw her off a little bit, but nonetheless, we are now done with breakfast. Now we're going to do the resort tour. Uh, we'll start from the Portica share um, and kind of work our way back in and out and around. I'll try to find a resort map and show you guys, but the fun is just now starting and it is bright outside, sorry. Oh, and I wanted to point out too, I did get the um, banana bread French toast. Carrie got Olivia's breakfast, the basics, eggs, potatoes, sausage. And the girls got Mickey waffles and eggs and fruit, so we covered everything. Uh, I did like the theming inside, it was unique, something that I don't get anywhere else on Disney property really. Um, there are some great things about it, Olivia's is good, not for everybody, but now we get to go circle the rest of the resort and explore, so come on. All right, now we are starting everything here at the beautiful Portico Share. Don't know what this section is called, the breezeway, but this is like your, your main section of Old Key West. Down this way you have the general store, which we'll go into in a second. And then you have the check-in area, which we'll go into right now. I'll show you guys what that looks like. And then we'll go into uh, Conch Flats general store. All right, walking in real quick. Beach theming, very, very nice in here. Very small though, but want to give you a look. What do you think, Olivia? Uh, we're not getting goldfish, we just had brunch. Do you like the, do you like the furniture in here? Okay. All right. Ready? Ready? Going to the other side right now. This has like a really big family room feel to it. Nice fireplace over there. Oh, it's very homey. Look, Olivia, you have a little kid section right here. Now we go into the general store, see what they have. Gotta check out, see if they have Old Key West merchandise, which I think they do. Here are some tumblers, Old Key West tumblers. Tank top. Nice quarter zip. What is it, of the Vineyard Vines? Quarter zip. They do have old Key West ears with a license plate. That's a nice touch. <laughs> this resort has a lot of like branded merchandise. Looking good, old Key West robe. They have like sweatpants, vacation club type merchandise, old Key West sweatshirt. Oh no. That's a jacket, like a hoodie jacket. Now we're going down left past Olivia's. The pool is this way. You can do some bike rentals and things like that. So let's go take a look. Look, goods, food to go. You can order some quick stuff and you can also mobile order Olivia's here as well for quick pickup. Yeah, you can rent, you can rent bikes. I want to see if they have like a, like a sign or something for options, but maybe not right now. Look, you got the REST Recreation, the gym is in there. There are, I can't see some, some people through the window, so I won't go in there. Ping yeah, ping pong, Olivia, ping pong. And foosball. The many of these here, you have shuffleboard, which you can, uh, equipment is available to rent at Hank's rent and return i didn't see that just walking past there so we'll, we'll if, if i see it i'll show you guys and then you also have uh tennis courts and everything straight up here some people are playing currently right now oh man they're, they're playing pickleball right behind me here and right across from the tennis courts you have a great look what looks to be like a kids area where you can do sand castles and a little sand area for kids followed by a playground that's uh, for kids ages 5 to 12 years old Carrie just said something great about the pool area. Carrie, go ahead. They said it's great for kids because the little kid, the kid area of the pool is connected to the playground. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> the parents go plop themselves. Yeah, but yep, and, and you get visuals. Yeah, you, you get visuals. It's important for parents. If you have little kids, you know. Let's see how we can get to the front side and get a picture or a good look at the pool with the slide, you get the Mickey slide. So I really can't get a good look at the Mickey slide, so I'll throw a picture up of what it, it looks like once you're in on the inside. 
It's a pretty cool slide. You get the sandcastle like theming here. Everything is decked out. Disney does a great job with theming at all their resorts. All right, we've kind of reached the dead end here with the volleyball court. The little campfire pit down right over there. I'll try to zoom in. But look at this. Look at this view, you guys. Oh, step up here. You got a little river here going on. Getting a good look at some of the the rooms here on property. Looks like they're doing some kind of construction over down that way, but I don't know, gorgeous. Gorgeous view. If you watch some of our other resort tours, I always include um, at like a resort map. I have not found one yet. I go over a lot of the details on that map. So right now we're kind of wandering a little bit, but we're going back to the main area. Probably head across the main street, start going to some of the, uh, the, the buildings here on property. Most of the amenities we've captured already here at the like the hub, I call it. Don't know what it's called officially yet, but more to come. Look at how great this looks. You got Olivia and Carrie going up there. Amelia's in her, in her pink stroller. You overlook this little body of water, get great building. Great views in the distance over here. Really not much to dislike so far here at Old Key West. Cannot find a site map or like a lay of the land for the life of me right now. But we are approaching a several vacation homes. So we're going to kind of go into this first little area here. Take a look at what they look like and I don't know. Go from there. Yeah. Carrie's going to take a look to get a picture. Look how cute. Look you got, you got Mickey's. And the spindles up there, I think those are spindles. Mommy, mommy, what, Amelia? Mommy, I don't know, let's go find them, let's go find them. Building number 23. Like, I don't know, this is just so charming. Oop, turn, turn, turn. Now you're getting a little behind the scenes. Cheese! Yeah, and some something that we heard too, uh, walking by like the area for a boat launch, they're not operating the boats right now because the water levels are too high, so they wouldn't be able to safely go underneath bridges and things like that. So it is bus only currently right now at Old Key West Resort. All right, so right now we're leaving this first little section uh, and just gonna head on down the pathway down there. But wanted to point out at least. If you're over here, you get beautiful views. I know, we're gonna follow her in a second. We're going, we're going. You get great views. Look at that. So for the most part, a lot of these buildings are pretty much duplicates. Same colors, color variation does not change much. We're gonna walk down to a further area, take a look at like the other pool section that they have. Um, and kind of walk down that way and show you guys what that looks like. But for the most part, this is the area that was under construction kind of currently. Again, similar look, similar feel. Just a different building number is really what's the difference. This is what we want to see. Turtle Shack, I think. Poolside Snacks, that's the other area we're trying to go to. But a lot of these buildings just look like mega mansions, like alongside a river. Carrie gave me the, the what are you talking about look, but it's true, they just they just look like great mega mansions. That's cool. Our old turtle point, and since I can't find a we have to turn down here, Carrie. Alright, since I can't really get a good view of a, a map anywhere, we walked down this main path and now we turn down here. There is another pool area at the end, so we're gonna go take a look at that. I'm assuming that's Turtle Shack which is what we saw on that sign back there. I think we have arrived at the other pool area here on property at Old Key West. Turtle Shack is back there, I don't know if you can see it, but good look at the pool. Does have grills and like a picnic area. That's kind of nice, nice nice to have, you know, if you're, you know, like right here, you can make burgers or something. So that's really it for the vacation homes here at Old Key West. A lot of the buildings, same setup, same colors. This one, you get two different ones right behind me here, but for the most part, they're kind of carbon copies of each other. Yeah, really one of the only cons of this place is that it is big, and you gotta do a lot of walking at your resort if you wanna go to like any main amenities or the main pool. But you can drive around if you want to. There's plenty of parking spots or parking spaces throughout the resort in its entirety. So you can drive if you want to, but uh, just from our, our time here today, 
Lots of people are walking around everywhere. It's a beautiful resort if you're staying here and have some time to like explore and just walk around on some like on a resort day. Beautiful resort. Aside from that, everything else is far away at the main hub by like Olivia's and the Portico Share and the check-in area and all that stuff. So we are going to head to Disney Springs now. We can't uh, take the boat there. The water levels are too high. So we are going to drive there at Disney Springs. But wanted to highlight though that at this resort, you can take quick transportation via boat, except for today, to Disney Springs because it is a Disney Springs resort. Well, we have made it to Disney Springs. I can only imagine, Kara, we're going to World of Disney. World of Disney it is. The girls want to find a toy, like a small toy, for each of them. So that's first on our priority list. All right, we are here in World of Disney. The constant revolving, swapping and changing around of merchandise in here. Cool tours, all full of stuffed animals and stuffies. Yeah, you like that? Dumbo, Amelia, look Dumbo. The girls found something, not for right now, but maybe something for the Christmas list. Maybe Santa, let's see. Ooh, horsey. All right, we got Amelia all set with the Hercules Pegasus. Little toy thing. She'll like that for sure, she can brush it. Olivia, what are you looking for? Anything Disney princess, right? Just gotta find the right toy for you. Ooh, Ariel. Cured Amelia's item. Olivia couldn't thank you. Amelia couldn't, or not Amelia, Olivia couldn't find something in the store. So I think we're gonna check the Lego store. Yeah, Amelia, we got your toy. A climb in? Just kidding, we're gonna go to Once Upon a Toy first. And then maybe Lego, and then maybe back to World of Disney if she still can't find something. Yeah, Toy Story. Look at the aliens! Ooh! You got live action Ariel though. It includes nine accessories. That's very fun, Olivia. You'll like that. Alright guys, from Disney Springs, that'll pretty much do it. Sorry, it is a shorter video than anticipated. If you have any questions on Old Key West, Disney Springs, or just anything Walt Disney World in general, let us know down below. But thank you guys again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye!